It's the end of an era. Yes, Cartoon Network has now assimilated. I think I'm saying that correctly. Assimilated? Has now assimilated. Oh my gosh. Assimilated into Warner Brothers. It's done. Your childhood is dead. Everything you loved is gone. No, I'm joking. But it it's sad. I, I read the news this morning. Or was it a few hours ago? Because who am I kidding? I don't wake up before 2 o'clock. But it's over, you know? Uh, there is no more Cartoon Network as we know it. I think if you have an HBO account, everything... Because this was a very slow move coming where it was slowly and slowly and slowly getting merged into HBO. But now this is the final death nail. So that TV channel known as Cartoon Network will simply leave your TV. And I, I'm not going to lie, I'm sad. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. What else? Uh, Codename Kids Next Door. Chowder. Miss Marvelous Adventures of Flapjack. I think Justice League was on there. Adult Swim. You know, Robot Chicken. My mom didn't let me watch Robot Chicken. Adventure Time. Regular show. I didn't watch Gumball, but I knew about it. And now kids, they're not going to know. Kids don't. The thing is, kids don't. There isn't. You have Netflix. Culture is fragmented, right? Well, not right now. I think this is the way going forward. Where there isn't a coherent story that kids could all get behind. And so, and Cartoon Network was one of that. And I'm sad. I'm sad that you're not able to do that anymore. But, you know, with with one door closes, another door opens. I think that's how the phrase goes. I wouldn't know. I barely passed English. But yeah, no, it's it's over. It's it's the deal's been done. And I don't know how I um I'm I'm sad. I I'm sad. I think I think this I think it's weird because media is kind of all becoming the same where you have Time Warner or Warner. I think it's called Warner. Mind you, I didn't do research before this. Video. Man, this is just like just like school. I just kind of raw dog it. But you have that. You have Disney. And then I don't know what Nickelodeon is under. And I think it's Comcast. I wouldn't know off the top of my or NBC. But you just have all these things and they control it all. There's. You can't just be a small independent studio. I don't know if we're going to get a show like regular show ever again. Or like the OG Teen Titans. Not this new Teen Titans, but the OG Teen Titans. Or Justice League. That one was also very good. And with this business deal, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I just wanted to talk about it because it was something that, you know, it's something that I don't see much on my YouTube feed. And it's something that I guess I would like to know more. But Cartoon Network is, is gone. It's no mas, no a key, you know, it's out of here. They cashed out. They took that corporate money. And as these mergers and acquisitions happen, man, I'm starting to sound like somebody in my, I'm starting to sound like a professor of mine, which, eh, that's concerning. But as these things keep going and going and these studios keep buying and buying, there's going to be less and less. And we'll see where the landscape's going to be. Creativity is obviously not going to die We've been telling stories since the beginning of time, and we're going to continue telling stories. I'm not worried about that, but what I'm interested to see is what happens next, what happens after. Who knows? You know, I thought Cartoon Network would be around long enough that I would have my own, you know. Assuming I find a, a woman, a girl of the human species to have children with, I was thinking, you know, we could watch it together, but I guess not. You know, Ben 10, I... I I had an Omnitrix and everything. Okay, I didn't have an Omnitrix, but I definitely, I played Ben 10, uh, the video game on DS. I forgot what it was called. But I, I, that was, that was, these were core parts of my childhood. And the fact that they're gone kind of makes me sad. It makes me wonder what kids nowadays grow up watching. And we'll see, you know, I saw somebody like, oh, it's getting woke. And it's like, I don't even care about that. I just care about having a good experience. It doesn't matter of. I mean, yeah, I guess this stuff matters, but it's just about telling a good story and having a good time. And now that it's over, who knows, man? Who knows what's next? I'm. It's going to be interesting to see how this deal finalizes. And if my prediction, I think it's all going to go on to HBO and see how that plays out. But yeah, no, I just want to also say thank you for watching your video, my video. Um, thank you, Fabian. Thank you. Uh, I think his name, Pedro. I think your name, you know, thank you for that. It really means the world, um, and then peace.